What is the very latest on the status for Brooklyn Stars tonight? We'll start with KD. Well, it should be a good game, Matt, but the Nets are a little bit depleted. Kevin Durant is out tonight against the 76ers. The injury report just came out minutes ago. Remember, yesterday Kevin Durant told me after he played those 20 seven minutes. He said that he felt like he felt pretty good with his minutes ramping up and he'd see how he felt in the morning before determining whether or not he would play. And so the Nets have been very cautious with him. They'd be, they've been very careful with him. They're also without LaMarcus Aldridge and Blake Griffin, who isn't playing in back to backs. Now, the good news is that Kyrie Irving could be available tonight. He is not listed on the injury report. Remember, he missed their last game in Minnesota for a personal family matter. He isn't on the injury report. The net style is to not list them at all if they are available to play. And so that's a glimmer of hope for the Nets, especially because we just got word that guard Chris Chioza, who started for Kyrie yesterday, he got surgery on his hand today. So the Nets are very depleted at the guard position, even though they're getting Kyrie Irving yeah, back. Yeah, you start talking about all these injuries. That includes James Harden, who remains out mm. due to that hamstring injury. So what can you share with us about a potential timeline for his return to the lineup? Well, the 10 days with the, that the Nets initially announced from that right hamstring when they were going to reevaluate him is at the end of this week. It's on Friday. And so he stayed back from this road trip, Matt, to get work done, to go into the practice facility, to get those workouts in, to do that treatment. And before this trip, I was told that he's doing well, he's progressing. This is something where they're having to be very patient and careful with him because James Harden is a player who wants to be out on the floor as much as he possibly can. And so Steve Nash said that the conversation he had with James Harden is look we need to be mature about this injury we have goals to go deep into the postseason and so you can't get antsy toward the end when we're saying you might have to miss a game or two more than we thought you initially would because we want you to be healthy for the duration and so that's where it stands with him being reevaluated on Friday. There you have it you have to be cautious Harden had just started working his way to the MVP mm -hmm. conversation averaging 25 and 11 since joining the Nets but caution for a championship is worth it Malika Andrews with the very latest on Sports Center. Malika thank you. Thank you. All right, so the Nets and so the Sixers and so the Bucks, they're all separated by just three and a half games atop the East standings. BPI has those three as the most likely to represent the conference in the NBA Finals. Brooklyn, the significant favorite, 39%. Philly next, 25%. Milwaukee sitting at 19% to make it out of the East. And Ben Simmons showed some respect for the Nets, but he did offer a qualifier. Obviously, Brooklyn you know, has a lot of talent. Um, but then they... You know, there's only one ball you got to play defense, too, so. So here, here's my, my deal with that. Go ahead. I'm about to be get off my lawn guy for please, a minute. Please do. That's how I like my NBA. When the players aren't all friends. Well, yeah. I like the mouthing off. I like the rivalries. I like the Pistons and the Bulls. And then I like all of that. I don't like this. Yeah. Everyone gets along. Mouth off a little bit. Give me some of that. I don't know if that's old man get off my lawn. I think that's more like let's get you a time machine. You can go back. To That's that. back to the future. Because it's not happening currently. The thing with Simmons is he's Watch not the wrong. Best. There is only one ball, and you do have to play defense, and we'll see how that translates in the postseason, though. Was it disrespectful? That's the question now in front of first take, last take. Gigawatts. I don't think that, you know, uh, Ben Simmons was being uh, grotesquely disrespectful or anything like that. He's believing in himself and his teammates, but this is basketball. And basketball, even though it's a team sport, you do find yourself in situations where you encounter, you have one-on-one -on -one encounters potentially. So there may be times when Kyrie uh, is face-to-face -face against Ben Simmons and he can handle that. There may be times when KD is face-to-face -face, uh, directly one up against Ben Simmons and they can handle their business in that regard and it would be entertaining. But ultimately, how do you get back at Ben Simmons for saying what he said? Two points, you drop buckets, and then when he has the ball, you back up 10 feet away from him and dare him to shoot a jump shot because that's not what he does. The reason the pressure is on Philadelphia right now is because the Nets don't have James Harden because the Nets are playing the second of back-to-back -back on the road because the Sixers are supposed to win this game. If you're fully loaded, you got Embiid and he's balling, you got Simmons, you got your whole crew with you, and the other team, the main challenge in the East, along with the Bucks, doesn't have the guy I keep saying is the most important player on the team. James Harden rolled out of bed, showed up in Brooklyn, looking a hot mess, and was a walking 
triple double with 30 points in wins in wins when he's not on the team they are not the same team so no James Harden second of back to back on the road and you're talking oh Stephen A Simmons especially but the Sixers got to show up and win thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus